The goal is to end the AIDS epidemic by 2030. Fears over how the AIDS virus is spread. Back in the early 1980s, HIV infection was often seen as a death sentence. By 2000, more than 28 million people were living with HIV, but only one in 50 received antiretroviral medicines. Overall, 35 million people have died and 76 million have become infected. But today, the scales have tipped. Yearly, AIDS-related deaths have almost halved since 2005. More than 50% of people living with HIV have access to treatment. And a person living with HIV who starts treatment today has the same life expectancy as someone who is free of HIV infection. Pressure from the global AIDS movement has made medicines affordable in almost every country. 75 US dollars will cover an adult for an entire year. But there is still much work to do. 17 million people living with HIV still don't have access to treatment. Young women in Sub-Saharan Africa are especially at risk. Their rate of new HIV infections is 44% higher than among young men. AIDS-related deaths have risen in the Middle East, North Africa, and also in Central Asia and Eastern Europe, where people who inject drugs account for nearly half of new infections. AIDS is not over, but it can be. UNAIDS, leading the global effort to end AIDS as a public health threat by 2030.